Okay? Okay. Well, Daniel, we're here in Monte Carlo for the, the grand final um, of the, the end of season four, the EPTs. How are you enjoying uh, this trip? It's obviously not worked out too well for you. I no, but I, mean, I feel like I've been playing my best. I mean, I, maybe I didn't start out as well as I'd like, but near the end there, I really started to pour it on. I feel like I'm, you know, at my best and, and tried. It just didn't work out, but uh, I'll be back. You know. How does it How does it feel with, uh, I mean, a lot of these young Scandinavian players, a lot of the, the Norwegians, do you, you sort of feel, you know, I've some just get the feeling that it's kind of, they kind of outclass the, the kind of older school from, uh, you know, it's the game evolves all the time and changes, but well, what, what do you think about that? Well, they're good, you know, clearly they're good, but I wouldn't go as far as to say that, like, when I sit down at a table, I feel outclassed. I've been around a little bit. Yeah. You know, I know how to play the game, and they don't really necessarily scare me just yet. I just had a little bit of bad luck. So. Yeah, do you ever, I mean, you've been playing for a long time, successful, but you never, you know, and, and it's sort of, uh, it's kind of going that way. Do you ever feel like kind of just hanging it up and just kind of, and moving on and maybe going into the sort of the more media side of it and just kind of forgetting about the game altogether? No, I mean, I, I enjoy doing commentary. But yeah. I'm a player, okay? Like, okay. you know, see, that one of the things you don't understand, obviously, because you're not necessarily a player, is that sometimes well, I did, you go... I, all right, I used to play it before. Well, sometimes you go through right. streaks where you just, you know, things don't work out as well and you run bad for a little while, and that's just kind of what I've been going through right now. It's not a question of, like, I'm being overtaken by the young Scandies or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know, I definitely did used to, used to play a little poker and stuff, and it's just, yeah, it's just my sort of from being in Copenhagen and kind of railing you a lot, obviously your big name, just some kind of questionable plays and stuff, I don't know. I mean, it's obviously plays. maybe I mean, not. What the, are you yeah. serious? Like, what would you know about questionable plays? Like, not well, yeah, really I played for four understand. years, you know, I'm multi-tabled. You Congratulations, know, yeah. you played for four years, but no, I mean, I obviously not every play works out, but I'm always trying my best, and sometimes I make plays that you just probably wouldn't understand is what it is. All right, okay. Well, um, don't quite know how to take that, really. And obviously, I respect, I've got a lot of respect for you, but, um, I don't know, I played successfully, I made money, and, and it's kind of a, a little more Very money good. than you've made over the, the last You're just a freaking joke. I'll tell you what, this guy's unbelievable, man. I, you know, I do interviews all the what time, the but when you push me like that, that's just getting stupid, right? Doyle Brunson told me you were a fucking asshole, right? I didn't believe him, I stood up for you. No reason to be an asshole about it, bro. I ask, I always answer your questions really calm and cool, but you don't freaking push a guy when he's down. Listen. What the fuck, man? Listen, I've had a bad run, that's all it is to it. You deserve to be where you is right now. Last interview I do with you, asshole. Oh, 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 oh,